Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kim and in today's video, I am bringing you how to keep your home clean and smelling good with dogs or any fur babies for that matter. Today's video is super, super exciting because it is in collab with one of my really, really good friends here, Angelica from Glimpse of Gel. I know that you guys will absolutely love her channel and I'm about to show you some clips from her video that she made for this collab together. So Angelica is a stay-at-home mom of one little girl, Mia, and she is adorable. She has two fur babies, a Kona, who is seven, and a King Corso, and then Havoc, who is six, and a King Corso. She's about to show you a clip, and oh my gosh, look how gorgeous they are. I just love them so much. Angelica is always coming in hot with all the cleaning motivation, all the encouragement, all the inspiration, and I know y'all will love her, so definitely make sure to go check her out and let her know I sent you. All right, y'all, tip number one is going to be open up those windows, weather permitting, of course. Let all the fresh air in while you're getting all the funky air out. It's always great to do this, and I love to do it in my home. Tip number two is going to be wash your walls. Now, before you're like, ah, what? No, <laughs> don't freak out. It is so simple, you guys. Just grab a mop bucket, grab some powdered laundry detergent. I'm sure you could probably use liquid too. I like to use this laundry booster because I just feel like it boosts the laundry detergent and helps things get a lot cleaner, but definitely is not necessary. So what I do is I just fill up my mop bucket, put a little bit of Tide, put a little bit of my laundry booster. You could add some essential oils in here. I mean, feel free, do whatever you need to do. Once we have this all filled up, I'm just gonna take my regular mop head, which I use the O Cedar Spin Mop, and I wanted to show y'all how easy it is to take off and replace these mop heads, and you can just throw them in the washer machine. So I'm gonna have this mop linked down below. I highly, highly recommend it. So once we get the mop head all nice and wet and we wring it out, I'm gonna show y'all how simple and easy this is. Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it so as you can see, this is so simple, you guys. It's basically like mopping your floors, but instead you're mopping the walls. <laughs> so I really hope that y'all give this a try and you don't have to do your entire house. My dog lays in the living room and he lays in my bedroom. And so that's normally the areas that I'm going to do that. But this made my whole house smell so good. All right, tip number three is going to be to deodorize your floors or your carpet. So I normally use this stuff from the Dollar Tree, but if you don't have this on hand, I have a super simple DIY carpet deodorizer. So normally you would use baking soda. I don't have baking soda, so I'm gonna be using my washing soda. It works the same, you guys. So what you wanna do is you wanna fill your clean empty jar about one third of the way full with baking soda, and then add five drops of essential oils. Then you're gonna fill it a third more away with baking soda and add 10 drops of essential oils. Then you're gonna fill the remainder of the jar and add five additional drops of essential oils. Put the lid back on. If you wanna cut holes in the top, do this before. And then you're just gonna be shaking it up and it is that simple. And then you would just use it as normal and sprinkle it everywhere. A super tip would be to do this the night before and let it sit all night. That's really gonna help it get into those carpet fibers and pick up all that dirt before you come back through and vacuum it up. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. It should have been you. I just wanted to give y'all a little demonstration on how easy it is just to poke holes into the top of the jar, but just make sure you do this before you shake it up. 
all right tip number four is going to be grab those dryer sheets or some car air fresheners and stick those babies everywhere put them in the couch put them under cushions hide them wherever wherever you think this is a really good hack too if you want to keep your laundry smelling good stick them in your dresser drawers but yeah put these things everywhere and your house is going to stay smelling good Tip number five is super, super duper simple also. Just make sure you're washing your dog bed regularly if they do have one. And if you have vinegar, add the vinegar in there because it's a natural deodorizer. Our last and final tip is going to be just bathe your dog. I know it's a pain, you guys. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. It's just the two-in-one. Our dog is a moose. <laughs> I have a lab Great Dane mix and he was a rescue and he is an absolute huge big baby. So normally it takes me and my husband getting in here to scrub him completely down and get him all nice and clean. And he gets him pretty much, but then he, you know, looks super sad the entire time. Um, but by the end of it, he starts to smile because you can tell he's feeling a lot better. And he is 13 years old, so he's really, really old. Um, and so he's got arthritis in his back legs. And so it is kind of a pain to get him in there. Hence the treats that you see on the toilet and the dreaded shaking. Oh yes, yes, he is always shaking all over us. Let me know down below if you can definitely relate. So that is going to be my sixth and final tip for you guys. Just bathe them. I use um, Ella's Sensitive Baby Wash on his face. I'll go ahead and just squirt a little bit on a wash rag and get it wet and clean out his ears and his face with that. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you got tons of cool tips and tricks to keep your house smelling good with your fur babies. I am soaking wet now. I definitely need to go change and go cook dinner. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. I love to chat with you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed day.